Hey, last one. Crazy. guys on both sides of the ball that should be very very emotional in this game and Kenny Willekes Tyreek Thompson those big tackles Mike Ponish you can rake Juan Williams include quarterback Brian Lewerke and others this is a an emotional day but it's a big day you win this game you can play another game that's right and this is an emotional day because it's the game of a game of last the last time you have your pregame meal and that last walk over from the Kellogg Center to the stadium and lacing up the cleats one last time to get in here into the woodshed here in Spartan Stadium and to take on a Big Ten opponent in Maryland one more time in front of your hometown fans. Senior day means a lot to these guys and it means even more to come out with the victory which will allow them a chance to play in the postseason which is what you play college football for. Hang loose, baby. Aloha. Hang loose. Do that dance. Do that dance. Stay on the way to Hawaii, y'all. I'm saying it out. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. I love everything about Hawaii from the from the palm trees, just from the from the view so far, and just not being cold. Like not being cold is the best part. Being out here has been, been great. It's almost paradise out here. And just to have the opportunity to come out here and enjoy the warm weather, the ocean, the sun, and things like that, that's really great.
please help us welcome Coach Tom Izzo and the Michigan State Spartans. And that's it. Congratulations to our first champion, the 2019 Maui Jim Maui Invitational. It is Michigan State with a team of Connor George and Foster Lawyer. I'm going to ask the following two to step forward and stay on stage with us. Rayshawn Hammonds and Gabe Brown, please step forward. We will now have a dance-off with our two finalists. Should it be Sean Hammonds? Should it be Gabe Brown? Congratulations to Gabe Brown from Michigan State, our winner of the hula competition for 2019. Being a Michigan State volleyball player has meant so much to me. It's truly a privilege to play for this team and to play for this coaching staff. And I thank Kathy George so much for taking that chance on me. And she wants us to be the best versions of ourselves. Every single time you come into the gym, no matter that be like a lift or a practice or a film session, like you're there to get better. I've seen so much progress just went from when I came last spring and just as far as chemistry and camaraderie between the players of the team, I feel like we're just such a closer unit and everybody's working towards kind of the same goal and the same ideas. So I've seen a huge amount of growth and it's been awesome. We worked a lot on culture this year and chemistry and getting to know each other at a deep level outside of volleyball. And I think that's really helped with our relationships on the court and off the court. And doing so, I've been able to get a deep understanding and relationship with each girl. And there's been times on teams where I, maybe I wouldn't be as close with someone as I would with other people, but I can't say that about this team. And I just, I love them so much. I, I can't imagine doing life without them, to be honest. <laughs> I think one of the main reasons I came to Michigan State was for Kathy George. I mean, she's a legend in the sport, she's a great coach, just a great female role model for her players and um, for the sport itself. And she's just a strong woman and I love being around her. I did struggle like believing in myself a lot at the beginning and that's always hard being an athlete is wondering if you can do it. But again, like my teammates and my coaches, they instilled that confidence in me. Kathy would always say to me, you know, I recruited you for a reason. I didn't just put you on this team to put you on this team. And I just think like having that confidence and knowing my teammates always believe in me and my coaches believe in me, like that helped me believe in myself. And so that just opened many doors for me to just to continue to keep working and to continue to keep pushing and getting better. And I knew that if I just stayed that with that process, like I would find my way on the court and good things would happen. The coaching staff is a big reason why I came here. They have helped me develop as not only a player, but as a person as well off the court. If I needed help, if I was experiencing some tough times, they were always there to help me. I can thank them all I want for helping me on the court and developing these skills that I was able to develop, but I think I need to thank them more for being there for me for the past four years off the court as well. Welcome to the state of Hawaii, where Michigan State, for the fifth time, will be part of this Maui Invitational, a collection of some of the best basketball teams in all the land. So this game is going to be about the three-point line. Can Virginia Tech establish some rhythm and knock down some shots that they can shoot it? The only way they can beat Michigan State is to knock down a ton of threes. They shoot 32, and there's a three by Horn. Good. Wow. Three out of 18 attempts on the season. Kicks it outside to Gabe Brown for a three. He's got it. Cannot let Gabe Brown catch and shoot. Back to Nolly for a corner three. Got it. 
And Virginia Tech, they believe from the opening tap. Winston, of course, back in the game to start the second half. You're triple team for a moment on Winston. Somebody's open, and Kithier ties the game. Tech, here comes a long win, and it's good. All of a sudden, a 10-point deal, 59-49. Winston back in. Henry drives. Nicely done. Seven-point game. Henry the drive and kick. Winston for three. Yes! Pass to Henry. He makes a move down the lane. Floater off the glass. He's in! And we're back with it, too! We're back with it, too! And a lot of time left in this game. There's... He'll kick it. Henry will take a three. Got it! Point game, one minute to go. Nolly, yes! yes! Landers Nolly with a three. The Hokies are going to go to six and zero for the year and upset Michigan State in round one of Maui. Virginia Tech seventy one, Michigan State sixty six. I think my first home game here at Jenison and first Big Ten kind of home game, I just, it was really cool for me to have that atmosphere and um, play at home here. That was probably my favorite night. My favorite moment uh, of being a Michigan State volleyball player was definitely going on our Elite Eight run of the tournament my sophomore year. That was something extremely special to experience, just being in that position and like in that environment. Um, that was something that I'll never forget. And that team was definitely something special. They just left so much of a legacy that, you know, I was really like wanting to carry on my last two years and into my senior year as well. I think nothing will beat the Elite Eight. I was able to be a part of that team and we have so many memories from the Elite Eight, Sweet 16, and all the adversities that we overcame together. They, we still cherish those to this day. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie, but being on the court for the last time is something I've been dreading since I was a freshman and it kind of just hit me like a bus this year. But. I'm excited to do one last go around with these girls. I'm really happy that this is the group that I got to spend my last year with. Every time I'm with my teammates and the coaching staff and we're all together and we're having fun and laughing, like I just keep thinking I'm gonna miss these moments so much and I'm gonna miss the people and I'm gonna miss the relationships and yeah, I'm gonna miss like competing with them every single day. I don't want to leave the girls. <laughs> I love them so much and I have such a deep relationship with every single one of them. It's going to be hard to see them continuing on the court, off the court without me. And I'm so extremely thankful for this team for welcoming me last spring and for just being the greatest friends and um, for building that relationship for lifelong friendships. The people here at Michigan State have meant so much to me and the community here and Everyone always talks about the Spartan family and everyone hears that all the time, but it's such a real thing and it's something that'll never leave you. And it's gonna be so cool like years down when I you know I can tell my kids that I was a Michigan State volleyball player and that's something that I'll, that I'll have with me forever and those memories will you know stay with me forever. Mostly just being grateful for the experiences that I've had and then kind of excited for the future too as it's coming to an end in college volleyball. I'm excited to see what's going to happen next and continue hopefully my volleyball career. I'm going to miss it. <laughs> That's all I can say. I don't know if I can let go so quickly, but you know I have to and I'm definitely going to miss it. Our expectations are to win it all, and we came up short. You know, we let a lot of people down with that. So now it's about getting better, and we still got to come up with two more wins. We got to rally together. We got to learn from our mistakes, and we got to get better as a team. Ultimately, that's that's why you come out here. Michigan State with the basketball trailing 9-5 to Georgia. Here's a three from the wing by Cassius Winston. You can just tell that everybody was clicking in that Georgia game in that first half, and most of the second half, everybody had that motivation to want to do their job and do it to the best of their abilities and that's what we did. So obviously we're going to have to learn from wins and losses, but I think we did learn from the Virginia Tech game. It's about learning, learning each other, 
learning what's going to happen, how a person plays two days in a row, how your team is going to handle a short scout report, all those type of things kind of help you further on in, in the year. So it's been great for us just learning what kind of team we have, how we rally together, and things we're going to do to win games down the stretch. A great win for Michigan State, though, after losing yesterday to Virginia Tech. Welcome to round three of the Maui Invitational. As today, it's Michigan State and UCLA. Build on what happened yesterday, continue to dominate. I think that's going to be a key today against these UCLA Bruins. Here comes a long one by Henry. He got it. Hill goes back to the other shoulder, and it's blocked by Marcus Bingham, and that'll be a shot clock violate. Winston uses the screen and knocks down a long two. Now the pace feels a little bit more like what Tom Izzo wants. Riley finds Chris Smith and UCLA back on top. This is more like the Michigan State team we've come to know, that they are really pursuing the basketball off the glass. Wow, what a strong drive by Cassius Winston. Michigan State out of transition. Boy, how good is he? How crafty is he when he gets into the lane? He's just going to mess with it until he gets the angle he wants. Wow, how good is that? like it was two points on the board and Tillman at the other end a three by Watts he got it wow what a great transition three so Michigan State will go two and one out here go to five and two on the season they will finish in fifth UCLA will go one and two the only win over Chaminade Every game isn't going to work out exactly how you plan. A lot of things are going to change. So to be in these situations where you're challenging yourself, you're teaching each other how to win. We got a lot of young guys. We got a lot of big games. So there's going to be some mistakes. We're going to come up short a couple of times, and that's okay as long as we're learning and getting better as a team. We're trying to find our legs yet. We're trying to find who we are, what we are. I think that's going to take a little while yet, but a trip like this is good. Hopefully our team's going to grow. You know, you bond together on trips like this. But I don't think we're anywhere near the team we're going to be in a month or two. But it's going to take us a little longer because of a couple of things that have happened. Final day of the season underway. Michigan State and Maryland. And for the Spartans today, the chance with a win to extend that season a couple weeks into a bowl game. A snap back to Jackson. Throws right pick. side, a falling down pick, it looks like, by Josiah Scott. He has picked it off. Jackson to throw on third and six, and he completes it right near the sticks. That was Dante Demas, and that ball came out right at the end of the play. It's a second turnover. So Maryland going absolutely nowhere offensively right now. It's Lewerke from the 18, and he will look to the end zone. It's under throw and intercepted. Teams just handing the ball back and forth. Marcus Lewis, second interception of the year. And again, looking to throw. Looking deep up the sideline. Demas is there. Touchdown, Maryland. Two plays after the second interception of the day. And the Terrapins have their first lead. Throws down the left sideline. Cody White with a catch. Cody's inside the 20 and knocked down. Parkland made from 40. This is the other. And now from 36, and that one he sticks through. Now starting to run out, throws on the run, diving attempt, and that is a catch. Trey Mosley, the freshman there, going down to get it to convert the third and six. Like we said, Michigan State, they moved the ball well, but two interceptions, they went for it on fourth down, they didn't get two field goals. Michigan State trying to get back in front. Play fake it to the right. Brian Lewerke keeps it up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. Well, Second we... rushing touchdown of the year for Brian Lewerke. Jackson hit from behind. Down he goes. Jake Ponishuk with a punishing sack. And he's in trouble. And he will be hit down big time. McFarland <laughs> here on first down, bouncing it outside. Now trying to accelerate to the 40. Does he have the speed of the 20? And the 10, he's going to score. Touchdown, Maryland. 63 yards from Anthony McFarland and a Terrapins team which has lost their last six games retakes the lead at Spartan Stadium. It's on the way. 
It's good. And the score is tied at 16. McFarland as the back gets it. He's stuffed on first down. Well, that's a big series right there for the Michigan State defense. The, lead, the leaders of that group, that defensive line, those seniors, Raycon Williams, Mike Ponashuk, and Kenny Willekes. What a time to step up and make some plays at the line of scrimmage and force a Maryland punt. In Michigan State at 16, needing this win to make themselves bowl eligible. Shotgun snap back. Brian's in trouble. Let's go over the left sideline. Oh, he wow. may have completed the pass he inside the 30. 33 yards away, the wind continues to swirl around, trying to put Michigan State back in front, and he has! But make no mistake about it, this group wanted this win really badly, to get to 6-6 six and six and go to a bowl game and, and give Brian Lewerke credit. When it mattered most on that last drive, he made some big-time throws and pushed the ball down the field. Well, it pushed him all the way, but Michigan State will reach that sixth win of the year with a 19 to 16 victory over the Maryland Terrapins.